Biotechnica. Welcome back again to another video. So today in this video, I'm going to talk about the top 10 writing tools for all the research students. Suppose if you are a MSc student who is literally doing a project now, or if you are in the first year, but in the second year, you're planning to do a project, or if you are a PhD student or aspiring to become a PhD student, then these are some of the top 10 writing tools that you need to know when you're going to start your preparation uh, for your research because we know that during your research you might be handling uh, laboratory things also and you have to write also so it might be tedious process for you so i'm going to make it a bit simple when you're going to start writing so these top 10 writing tools you definitely need to know about it you can have either an online access or you can also download certain apps or certain tools that i'll be talking in detail so come along with me and let's discuss about the topic the top 10 writing tools for research students in detail hey everyone this is caroline green from biotechnica so let's talk about this topic in detail so the first one is power thesaurus yes so when you're going to start your research paper or any sort of manuscript for a journal that you're going to submit, you need to know certain synonyms, whether it's going to be in English or any kind of scientific words, you need to know certain synonyms, not exactly many things. So if you want to know some synonyms for words, then you can definitely go and go through this power thesaurus. This is available online for you. You can directly go online and you can literally see. So what is the website going to be? You can just uh, see onto the website, which is given here. So if you're going to go to this website, it will be redirecting you back again to the power thesaurus. And this is very user friendly and very powerful. And this is a wonderful dictionary. If you are literally going to start your project dissertation, or if you're going to start any kind of manuscript for a journal, or if you are in the process of uh, writing a research paper, then definitely you need to have some thesaurus or a dictionary. So this is one of the thing. So you can see here, you can just have to type over here and you will get a lot of uh, popular words and just search words, everything over here. So you can get all the synonyms and all the meanings in this one. So definitely you need to have this a writing tool uh, or you need to know this writing tool before you start your uh, preparation for your research. The next one is online correction. Yes. So this is also available online. You don't have to download any of the app. You just have to bookmark it in your laptop. And this is going to be the website. If you want to know more about it, you can just go onto this website and you can check onlinecorrection.com. And what's the purpose of this one? Of course, online correction. It's going to check the spellings and it's also going to check the basic grammar like grammarly we usually use and stylistic mis mistakes in English language only. For example, I'm showing you one image here. So this is the online correction.com. So I've just typed in, I'm Caroline, I'm doing a video on top 10 writing tools for researchers. So here there is one typographic error, which is suggesting me don't put a space on both the sides of a code symbol. So this will ultimately make me to realize that I've made a mistake over there, which might be a minor mistake, but in a research paper, you should not even make make any sort of minor mistakes too. So it will suggest you so that you can change it accordingly. So this is a wonderful online correction mode where you don't have to download. It's freely available. You can just go in for this one. Just bookmark this one also in your laptop. The next come the spin board. What is this spin board going to be? I'm going to talk about the basic version as well as the advanced version also. And this is the website. If you want to know more about it, you can just go to the spinboard.com. And this is very uh, rewriting uh, text tool, I can say. Suppose I'm showing you this image. This is the spin board one. So there is going to be a text spinner here and paraphrasing tool. So first let's talk about this text spinner. So I have written, believe in yourself, never underestimate the power of you. But this is not as effective as I think. So what if we can do is you just have to click onto the basic spin and it will give you a wonderful word. Have confidence in yourself. Keep in mind the force of you. So this is more beautiful than the word which we have written here. So it is going to give you a very basic spin. Suppose if you want to go in for advanced paraphrase, you can click onto the advanced paraphrase. So that will take you to the quilt board. It is not going to be the spin board that we are talking. If you want advanced, it will take you to the quill board. Here you have to go in for sign up options or sign in using your Gmail ID or your uh, Google, any of these things you can go. Here it's going to give me something more beautiful than the previous one. Having faith in oneself, never undervalue your own strength. So this is also the same meaning, but it's giving a kind of improvised version than the previous one. So you can also use quilt board. This is for the 
text one i told you you just have to put your text pinner and then it's going to do and the next is going to be paraphrase tool so now here i'm using a paraphrase so no matter you are pulled down to situation around wake up and shine i've written so let's check how it's going to paraphrase by clicking on to basic paraphrase this is going to be basic version regardless you are pulled down to circumstances around awaken and sparkle this is more beautiful than the previous one suppose if i want something advanced than this one then i have to go to quilt board just click on to advanced paraphrase it will direct you regardless of how you feel pushed down by circumstances get up and shine so this is really beautiful to rephrase everything that we have written so if you're going to go in for any sort of writing if you want to become a scientific writer or if you want to write a journal or a manuscript or if you want to write your project proposals or if you're writing a dissertation then you can definitely go for spin board as well as quill board which is available online free of cost for you and advanced version you have to sign up the next is going to be ref and write the fourth one is ref and write and if you want to go in for this you can look onto the website it will redirect you to this look up and learn and this is actually a referencing tool and paraphrasing tool same like the previous cases and it is also responsible for a plagiarism checking yes when you're going to do a research you should not copy everything it should be plagiarism free content that you need to have so if you're going to put it over there you need to give a reference or a copyright for it usually people used to get so this is very important plagiarism shouldn't be there or any sort of things shouldn't be there so it is going to check your uh, plagiarism so if you're going to type in over you're going you have to sign in for free and then it's going to do referencing tools paraphrasing tools academic phrase bank plagiarism checker everything will be available for you in one shot usually we have plagiarism checker online are also available but this has four things in one slot so you can go definitely for ref and write also and the next is going to be trinka this is also a wonderful uh, academic writing tool i can suggest this is a, a website you can go in for and this is going to be like a grammar checker same like we have a grammarly if you are not wishing to use that for some purpose usually you can go in for trinka and this is also for academic and technical writing also people who are a scientific writers usually use trinka so you can go in for this one so this is the one usually you can register for free you have like here you can literally see it over here some words are rejected because it's not applicable so it's going to give you a suggestion that your sentences are perfect or not so you can use uh, these top 5 writing tools uh, if you are writing a research paper or a manuscript the next sixth ones i'm going to talk about is authoria as what does this going to do this is wonderful one i'm going to tell you and this has some advantage also so if you want to know about it you just have to go to the website this is the website and you can upload your research work suppose if you have your manuscript if you have done if you are in a masters if you have your review of literature or if you have any sort of discovery that you have done a very small paper that you have or your phd paper or any sort of manuscript for your journal or for your conferences so you can upload your research work over there and it's going to disseminate your research work and this is one of the important thing usually when i was talking about the other writing tool doesn't do you can even publish the one that you have uploaded in the journal also so because authoria officials allow you to publish your work on their website free of charge so this is also applicable in case of authoria so you can literally go for this one you can go for the website and you can see this is one of the side you're going to see this is the one so this is the home page actually so you can see covid 19 there are many research papers which are accessible for you and you can also upload in it so i'm just going to click on to oncology and i'm going to show you there is going to be covid 19 vertebrate ecological experiment ecosystem oncology 464 research papers has been uploaded over there suppose if i'm clicking on to oncology you're literally seeing all the papers over here so in this if you have any papers related to oncology you can upload it and even you can publish in this uh, one also which is authoria so this is all about authoria the next one is hemingway editors so this is another academic tool that you have to know a writing tool i can say very specifically so this is the website if you want to go for it you can go for it so i'm going to tell you this one so this is actually going to tell you like how you can modify your sentences in a more detailed way grammarly usually suggest you but this will tell you how you can improvise it like hemingway apps makes your writing bold and clear very nicely so you can see it's hard to read like whenever you write something for a viewer when it comes to a research paper or any sort of article 
uh, you don't have to tell people that this is the content in a more complicated way because we people are very good at um, in complicating things in masters like when we usually do, we are master in it so when a reader is actually there we have to make it as simple as it is so what it will tell you is the reader is not able to read it so we can make it a bit concise so it will tell you red light is going to in indicate that um, it is very dense and complicated for the reader so you can just modify it and it's going to tell you like you can use passive voice here you can use an active voice here and you can remove certain things you can format your text everything it's going to suggest you so it's going to give you the readability how the readers can actually read how how much range can it be so the grade they give you like grade 6 grade 7 grade 8 if you're going to be very perfectly fine it's going to give you good grade if there is a mistake you just reframe it and then again you upload and check how much is the grade you're going to get according to this you can actually publish your articles or whatever it is you can do so hemingway is a very nice editor it you, it makes your writing very bold and very clear so you can definitely go for this writing tool which is Hemingway editor. The next comes dissertation and assignment calendar. Yes, suppose if you are in your uh, college MSc student or if you're doing a PhD, it's very important that you finish your dissertation work within that stipulated period of time. It might be in your six months of time or it might be in your one year or it might be your PhD because the every day goes very fast and you have to complete it. So what you can do is there's a wonderful thing that's been done by the University of Minnesota. So this is the website. If you click on to this, it will take you to one uh, location. I'm going to show you this also. So this is the page actually. Uh, this is the University of Minnesota page. If you're going to click on to this link, it will literally take you to this one. So you can just literally go for this one. And I'm going to tell you an interesting thing of this one, which everybody loves to do so. If you have an assignment, suppose I've just given an assignment here of uh, 15 uh, 1 2022 uh, and I've given uh, my research paper has to be completed like 20, 5 days left. Suppose for an example I've given here and I'm just going to click on to the calculator and it's going to give me what I can plan for my papers. So what it's going to do is it's going to now for 15, what are the things I have to do? It's going to suggest me like it's going to tell you read and understand the assignment and select some topic and try some en encyclopedia and research about it today like that. It's going to give you and on 16th, what I have to do, it's going to give you which makes my work scheduled. So if I'm taking a research paper or assignment for five days, it will tell me what I have to do in every day which is super easy for me to do because I do not know what I have to do it initially when you're starting as uh, writing a research paper or article. If you have to complete it within that period of time, you have to be knowing what is the plan for you. So this is going to suggest you a plan like almost for eight steps it's going to tell you for 15, 16 and I've given time till 20. For 20 days it's going to give me suggestion how I can actually write this assignment or dissertation. This is applicable for every researcher in every field. So whether you are doing your dissertation or your assignment you can go for dissertation calendar or uh, your assignment calendar also by the University of Minnesota. So you have to go to the website. If you go to this website you will be uh, getting all the access. Suppose if you are in the verge of finishing of your project and you have almost uh, next semester you're going to do definitely you can just go and check over which is really really helpful for all of you and the next comes that is going to be Scrivener this is also a wonderful tool this is usually followed by all the research people like all the scientists and the researchers usually carried out this this is usually uh, a free trial package will be for less period of time after that you have to pay this one but this is mostly recommended by the researchers and this is the website where you can go and check and it's going to rearrange your chapters and organize your research uh, papers because uh, every chapter has some sub pages also so what exactly happened in a research phd if you're going to do you have your chapters you have your subtopics you have you have your topics you have your subtopics sub pages many things and you can also add your images or your text was that related to your writing here so this is the thing that you're actually seeing here which is Scrivener and it's actually given a download free trial only for a short period of time after that you have to purchase but this is a wonderful one where you can uh, rearrange your chapters your sub pages you can add your images everything mostly all the researchers when they submitted for research publication used to go in for this Scrivener so definitely this is going to be one of the thing whichever uh, days are applicable for you for your free trial you can definitely go for it if you're belonging to an institution then you have an access to it also the next comes Ritzy 
and this is going to be the website and this is going to be the home page of this one you're going to see where beautiful books are made and if you would like to make some sort of research paper and you would like to publish some sort of information or if you're writing a review of literature then this reads his book editor is a powerful digital tool because you can write you can edit any sort of ebooks or print books or journals or articles for you so this is like an editor for you which is also going to be wonderful if you're going to do it so so this is the last 10th writing tool that I've been talking about. So today we were talking about the top 10 writing tools for all the research students. You might be in your master's or your PhD or whatever it is. Definitely you can go for Power Thesaurus. Uh, you can go for online correction one. You can go for uh, Spinboat. You can go for Ref and Write. And you can go for Trinka. You can go for Weetsy. You can go for Scrivener. And you can go for some dissertations and Hemingway editor you can go for and Autoria. So these are some of the wonderful writing tools for all of you. If you are one among them who are looking for how to make any writings faster, then this video is definitely going to help you. So if you really like this video, please like, share and subscribe to our channel by Technica. If you have questions on this one, you can put your questions in the comment section and we will definitely revert back to you. So thank you all of you for your time and I'm going to meet you back again with another video. Thank you all of you.